Wepa, Richie here. Lightroom's June 2025 update added a tool that photographers have been waiting for a long time, and that's reflection removal using their new AI. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how it performs in two different images that have different types of reflections in them. So we're just gonna show the tool, see what it can do, and see if it's worth it or not. No hype, just results. So. These are two high resolution stock images I picked from Embato, and we have reflections in both of them, but in different contexts. So we're gonna be testing each of them out and see how the tool performs. As you can see, one of the images has a very subtle reflection that I believe it's gonna be fairly easily removed. The other image has a lot harsher reflection. So let's see how it performs. So this is the first image. As you can see, we have some reflections that go over the subjects. We can see that it's from a building here. We can see a couple of windows up here. It looks not a bad picture, but if you wanted to remove the reflections, you would have to go here to remove. You're gonna click there and then come here to distraction removal where you can find the reflections. Once you're there, you're gonna click apply. As, as you can see, it's already clicked on here because I already processed the image. And when you have the slider here in zero, that's the original image. When you click apply, it's gonna take you to 100. And when it takes you to 100, it's gonna look like this. I mean, what can I say? All of the reflections were removed. The picture looks amazing. It looks completely different. And I mean, if that's something that you wanted to remove, it, it works wonders. Now, you may wonder why the slider was at zero. And you can see that you can slide the slider in the completely opposite direction to a negative 100. And you may wonder, why is that? Well, that's because when you have a reflection, you always have an image within an image. You have the image that you were focusing on, but you also have the image that is reflected on that. And I don't know, because the engineers that were working on this program were thinking ahead and thinking about other possibilities, well, they decided that the slider should go all the way to negative 100 to bring out the image within the image. And in that case, you are gonna be seeing this. Is if we move the slider to negative 100, this is what's gonna be showing. And I believe it's kind of magical because you're actually seeing the image within the image. Granted, I know that this is probably generated by AI. It's not a full real image of what you had there, but I mean, it's still pretty impressive. But yeah, just seeing the original image here and just the way it removed the reflections. I mean, it, it's, it's an amazing tool for sure. Now onto the second example. In this image, as you can see, the reflection is a lot harsher. You can see all of the lights on top of the subjects. You can barely see them on the other side. And I just tried applying this and it worked, but not that great. I mean, here in this example, we have the slider again at zero. Remember that we just clicked here on the remove. We went to distraction removal, then to reflections. Then we applied and, and now we are here. When we move this to 100%, you can see that it did remove the reflections, but not entirely. And the image doesn't really look good because it was so harsh. And I know, I know this is something that's fairly new. It has a long way to go and it's gonna get only better from now. So 
this just gives us an example of how it's going to be working towards the future and even with these harsh lights that were reflected on this image you can still clearly see the subjects that are behind it granted it doesn't look great it's not something that's gonna work if you're looking to use this to remove everything entirely but it gives us hope for the future because it's already doing a hell of a lot and you may wonder why do i have this third image here well this is just to show how Lightroom is implementing generative AI in the remove tool as well, and it works great. So in this image, we just have some sunglasses that are sitting on a table and we have a reflection here. I tried using the reflection removal tool to remove that reflection, but it didn't work. It didn't remove it at all. And to remove these types of distractions when you can't use the reflection removal tool, you're just going to click here on remove. You're going to click here on generative AI so that it can be used. And then you are just going to be brushing on top of the distraction that you want to remove. You have to remember that when you're removing an object, you have to brush a little bit of more area around the object that you want to remove so that it works properly. So once we do this, we just let it go. We click remove and then we just wait for the AI to work its magic. Once it's finished, this is the end result. And as you can see, it removed it entirely. And if you didn't know that it was there, you will never guess it. So with this in mind, now we know some pros and cons for the reflection removal tool. We now know that the reflection removal tool works well with reflections that are simple and well-defined, have some contrast to them and are noticeable. It works great with storefronts, car windows, some glasses, even though not all of them, like it happened with the sunglasses, but overall it works really good and what does it not do well we also saw the other image we know that when we have harsher more bright reflections it's struggling a bit but we can stay hopeful and look forward to what it's going to bring next so we can conclude that the reflection removal tool is one of the better updates that we have gotten towards removing this type of distraction from images for photographers that are working in cityscapes and have to deal with a lot of reflections, a lot of storefronts and such, it's gonna be a huge time saver when editing. And hey, it's not perfect, but it's only gonna get better, hopefully. So I'm gonna be leaving the video there for today. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed the content, like, comment, share, subscribe, and nos vemos en la próxima.